Here is your test review for AP United States History 1. This will cover the presidency of James Madison and the War of 1812, and the test will be broke up into two parts and will be taken over two days. The regular test will be 90 points. There will be 30 answers, three points apiece. That will be on November 16th in the Commons. And then the essay part, which will be on the Battle of New Orleans, and I'll talk about that in a minute, will be Friday the 17th, again report to the Commons. So first of all, here's the review for the first test of 90 points. There will be 10 matching questions, and you will need to know the following. Who ran on the Federalist ticket for president in 1812? Who invented an impressive rocket used by the British in the War of 1812? Who was the commander of Fort McHenry during the siege of Baltimore in September of 1814? Who was prisoner on one of the five British bombing vessels that were laying siege on Fort McHenry? Who was the British commander who negotiated with Francis Scott Key concerning one of Key's clients? Who was the American naval commander who won a very important victory at Lake Erie in 1813? Who was the American general who led his forces to a victory over the British at Lake Champlain in 1814? Who was the French pirate who provided assistance to General Andrew Jackson during the Battle of New Orleans? Who was the British commander during the Battle of New Orleans? And who was the artist who painted a very important painting of George Washington that First Lady Dolly Madison saved during the British seas on the White House? Those are your 10 matching questions. There will be short answer questions as follows. The first one, during what presidential election did the Federalists gain seats in Congress, and what did this mean? The next question, what was the British reaction to the ultimatum they were given by President Madison? Next question, other than hunger for land, list the three other reasons why America declared war on Great Britain in 1812. The next question, what did citizens of the United States that opposed war refer to the War of 1812 as? Next question. Give one example showing the lack of preparation that the United States faced going into the War of 1812. Next question. Prior to the British assault on Baltimore and Fort McHenry, what did their commander do to show his disdain for the British? Next question. Explain the range difference between the British bombing cannons and the American French naval guns during the siege of Fort McHenry. Near New Orleans, please explain the manpower General Andrew Jackson had prior to his battle with British troops there. In other words, what did he have on his side? Who was he fighting with? The next question lists three of the four objectives of the Treaty of Ghent. And the next question, other than shaping the foreign policy of the United States, list two other reasons why the War of 1812 was a turning point in American history. There are 30 answers to that. They will be worth three points apiece, and that will be worth 90. That test will be on November 16th. The following essay will be written on November 17th. Again, meet in the Commons. Here is the essay. Concerning the Battle of New Orleans, explain all three assaults on the part of the British in chronological order and their end results. Okay, again, I'll repeat that. Concerning the Battle of New Orleans, please explain all three assaults on the part of the British in chronological order and their end results. That particular essay question uh, will be worth 30 points, so total the test is going to be worth 120. If you have any questions about that, you're very free to text me uh, for any information you think you might be missing. Thank you and good luck.